Welcome to MathLearners.com. In this video, we are going to see how to divide numbers using Ekadikena Purvena Sutra. Before starting with this video, it is highly recommended that you go through the videos of Vinkalam and how to play with questions and reminders. Let's say suppose we want to divide 1 by 19 or we want to find the reciprocal of 19. So 1 by 19 can be approximated as 1 by 20 and further this can be written as 0.1 by 2 or in other words what we are doing we are applying Sutra Ekadikena Purvena that means one more than the previous. So we are incrementing this 1 by 1 so we are getting this as 2. Okay. So now the process of Ekadikana Purvena says we divide this 1 by 2 in terms of quotient and reminder. So when we divide 1 by 2 we get quotient as 0 and reminder as 1. So that can be written as 0, 1 and this decimal point, first decimal point. Now we divide this 10 collectively by 2. So when we divide 10 by 2 we get quotient as 5 and reminder as 0. So quotient is 5 and reminder is 0. Now we divide this 0 5 collectively that is 5 by 2. So we get quotient as 2 and reminder as 1. Now we divide this 12 by 2 so we get quotient as 6 and reminder as 0. Now we divide this 6 by 2 so we get quotient as 3 and reminder as 0. Now we divide this 3 by 2 so we get quotient as 1 and reminder as 1. Now we divide this 11 by 2 we get quotient as 5 and reminder as 1 and so on. So the final answer can be written as 0.0526315. Dot, dot, dot. So this is the reciprocal of 90. Let's say suppose now we want to find 38 by 59 that is 59. So this can be approximated as 38 by 60 and further this can be written as 3.8 by 6. So first will come as decimal point. So 38 by 6 in terms of quotient and reminder is quotient is 6 and reminder is 2. Now we divide this 26 by 6. So the quotient will come as 4 and reminder as 2. Now we divide this 24 by 6. So quotient comes as 4 and reminder as 0. We divide this 0 4 by 6 that is 4 by 6. So quotient comes as 0 and reminder as 4. We divide this 40 by 6. So quotient comes as 6 and reminder as 4 and so as it is. So this can be written as 0 0.64406 and so on. So in these two examples what we observe is that numerator is having same or less number of digits that those of denominator. So if we have number of digits in numerator greater than that of denominator then the process is little different so let's take an example let's say suppose we want to divide 1 2 3 4 5 by 39 so this can be approximated as 1 2 3 4 5 by 40 and further this can be written as 1 2, 3, 4.5 by 4. So we divide 12 by 4 that comes as 3 and remainder as 0. This first step is normal thing. From now onwards, instead of taking combination of 0 and 3 as it is, we first have some extra digits that is 3, 4, 5. So this quotient will be added with the extra digit. So first extra digit is 3. So 3 will be added with 3 that comes as 6. And then combination of 0 and that 6 
is divided by 4. So when 6 is divided by 4, we get quotient as 1 and reminder as 2. Now this quotient is added with the next digit that is 4. So 1 plus 4 gives us 5 and 2 is appended with 4. So that comes as 25. So 25 divided by 4 gives us 6 and 1. Now this 6 is added with 5 that comes as 11 and this 1 will be appended. So it is 11 and 1. Don't mistake this as 11 and 1 that is this will result as 12 and this will result as 21 but this is wrong 11 12 is wrong because this reminder needs to be at the tens digit so it will be 11 plus 1 at the tens digit so it can be said that it is 11 plus 10 so that is 21 so when 21 is divided by 4 we get a quotient as 5 and rem reminder as 1 now since there are no extra digits present after 5 so we carry out the so we carry out the usual method that is 15 divided is divided by 4 so that will give us quotient as 3 and reminder as 3 33 will be divided by 4 so that gives us quotient as 8 and reminder as 1 and as it is so by observation we need to put the decimal point so by observation what we can say decimal will be present at after three digits so it will be so answer will be equal to 316.538 and so on so what we are doing is that when we have extra digits in that case the quotient will be added with those extra digits like, let's say as x and then that will be appended by the reminder and then that will be divided by z divisor and if there are no extra digits left or if there are no extra digits then we just append quotient by our reminder and then divide by divisor let's take another example let's say suppose we divide 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 by 1, 0, 9. This can be approximated as 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 by 1, 1, 0. This can be written as 2, 3, 2, 1, point, 2, point 3 by 11. So 23 by 11 gives quotient as 2 and reminder as 1. Now this, now we are having some extra digits. So this 2 will be added with the first extra digit that is 2 that is q plus x. So when 2 is added with 2 that comes as 4 and that will be appended by reminder so it becomes 14. 14 divided by 11 gives quotient as 1 and reminder as 3. Now this 1 will be added with the next extra digit that is 1 so 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So after appending with 3 it comes as 32 so quotient will will become as 2 and reminder as 10 now this 2 will be added with 2 that comes as 4 now this 4 will be appended by 10 so it comes as 104 remember that this reminder should be at tens place so it comes as 104 so 104 divided by 11 comes as 9 and uh, reminder will be 5 now this 9 will be added with 3 so it comes as 12 and that will be appended by 5 so it comes as 62 62 is divided by 11 so remind a uh, question will come as 5 and uh, reminder will become 6 7 and so and if we observe then the decimal point will be after four decimal points so this will be answer 212.5 this will be our answer so in all these examples we had a denominator which was ending with 9 now let's say suppose we have a denominator which ends with 8 
let's say suppose we want to divide 17 by 18 so this can be approximated as 7 by 20 this can be written as 0 0.7 by 2 so the first step will remain same that is 7 by 2 so 7 by 2 gives us quotient as 3 and reminder as 1 now from now onwards we double the quotient because 18 is 2 less than 20 so since the difference is 2 we double the quotient so if we do not have any extra digits then it will be written as r 2 q d by d and if we have some extra digits then 2 q will be added with the extra digit in this case we don't have extra digits so we follow this so 3 will be double so it comes as 6 and that will be appended by a reminder that it will become 16 16 by 2 gives us quotient as 8 and reminder as 0 now this 8 will be doubled so it comes as 16 16 will be appended by 0 so it remains 16 so 16 will be divided by 2 it comes as 8 and reminder will be 0 and if we repeat we will get 8 itself so the final answer can be written as 0 0.388 Let's say we have division like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 48. As observed, a numerator is having number of digits greater than that of denominator. So this can be approximated as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 50. And this can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4.5 by 5. So 12 by 5 gives quotient as 2 and reminder as 2. Now this quotient we have we have some extra digits 3, 4, 5. This quotient will be doubled and will be added with the first extra digit. So 4 plus 3 gives us 7 that will be appended by reminder that is 2. So it comes as 27. 27 is divided by 5 so it comes question will be 5 and reminder as 2 5 will be doubled so it comes as 10 10 will be added with 4 so it comes as 14 14 will be appended by 2 so it comes as 34 so when 34 is divided by 5 question comes as 6 and reminder as 4 now this 6 will be doubled so it comes as 12, 12 plus 5 gives us 17 and 4 will be appended so it comes as 57. Now if this 57 is divided by 5 then we get quotient as 11. We do not want quotient as 2 digit number. So what we will have to do, we will have to reduce this 4 that is we will have to reduce this reminder. So in, in, in order to reduce this reminder, we will have to increment the quotient. So this can be written as 2252. Two, two. Quotient will be incremented, so it will become 7. And as we want to reduce, as the quotient is incremented, we will have to re reduce this reminder by the divisor. So 4 minus 5 will give, give us minus 1. Again, this is a property of quotient and reminder you can uh, you can you can watch my video how to play with quotient and reminders okay so now this 7 will be doubled so it comes as 14 14 will be added with 5 so it comes as 19 and this minus 1 will be appended so it will become 9 9 will be divided by 5 so quotient will become 1 and reminder will become 4 now there are no extra digits left so we follow this one so 1 is doubled it becomes 2 and after appending it becomes 42 42 is divided by 5 so question will be remain as 8 and remainder as 2 and so on so if you observe the decimal point will be after 3 decimal points so final answer is 257.18 so let's say suppose if we had denominator which was ending with 7 then 
if we don't have some extra digits then we triple the quotient and append by a reminder and divide by our divisor if some extra numbers are present then we add those extra numbers to the triple of quotient and appended by r and divided by 10 if we have a number in denominator ending with 6 then we take 4 times of quotient in both of the cases so this was about Ekadikena Purvena in which we saw when the denominator was ending with bigger digits like 6, 7, 8, 9 in next video we will see when the denominator is ending with 1, 2, 3, 4 thank you for watching this video